What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about some news we got from the Zenimax Online Studios Director involving what we can expect in 2024 from the Elder Scrolls Online. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now I will link uh, this article down in the description below if you would like to read over everything. They talked about, you know, kind of what went on in 2023, how the Necrom chapter was their highest rated chapter in some ratings since Somerset, and the Necrom chapter was really good. But the thing that really interested me about this was kind of talking about uh, going forward into 2024. It says, I remind you that April 4th, 2024 is the 10-year anniversary of the PC and Mac launch for the Elder Scrolls Online. But many of you did not join the community until 2015 as ESO's massive console launch. As such, we are considering the entirety of April 2024 through July 2025 as their 10-year anniversary period. And we will fit as much as we can in with special events, retrospectives, and a lot of other fun stuff to celebrate you, our community, and the ESO dev team. We can't wait to share all of this with you uh, when we are ready. Next year, we'll kick off their global reveal show in January, and we're excited to continue the story from last year, but in a different part of Tamriel. It's going to be great, and we have some new systems that I think everyone will want to know about. I'm going to spoil you, not spoil it now, but you should definitely look at our global reveal announcement and mark your calendars. He says, finally, I'd like to take a moment and talk to all of us, uh, all of you uh, in the ESO community now that we are a year or so past the pandemic. It's good to take stock of where we are and what we are, where we are going. ESO is in a great place, enjoyed by millions. In fact, almost 2 million of you joined ESO in the last year, not counting the players enjoying the game from the free uh, Epic Game Store kind of thing they had going on this past year. We have been massively successful for many years now and very thankful for all of you that have helped make this happen as we approach the 10-year anniversary of this amazing experience. He says he wants to just thank everyone and acknowledge the path that they've been on and appreciate the hard work of the team at Zoss and, of course, appreciates the community as well. It was kind of interesting to me to hear how they talked about, you know, since that 10-year anniversary technically, like I said, would be, you know, April 4th, 2024 for PC and Mac. But, of course, you know, the game did not come out on console, and that is what I play on until 2015. So we're going to have a, you know, that kind of 10-year anniversary event or launch or things going on in the game from April 2024 all the way through July 2025. So you're looking at over a year of activities is kind of how he talks about it. And they did talk about, you know, having some in-person events, uh, you know, in-game events, all that kind of stuff for the 10-year anniversary. This is going to be a big thing for the team at uh, Zenimax and also a big thing for the community. But I'm really interested to see what they can kind of put into the game that's going to go from April 2024 through uh, July 2025. You know, things that are new. That's going to be something I think a lot of people in the community are interested in. We all know about the events that we have every year. You know, your things like your, you know, your anniversary event, your Halloween event, you know, your kind of the end of the year, uh, New Year's, Christmas slash event, all that stuff that goes on. But I'm going to be interested to see what exactly gets placed into the game to kind of celebrate this 10-year anniversary because it sounds like to me that they're going to be doing some new stuff, or at least I hope that's what's kind of being talked about, is doing some new special events in the game. And I think that will be a really cool thing to have new stuff in the game along with the other events that we have because there's a lot of people that play ESO. There's a lot of people that enjoy the game. There's a lot of people that have played it since it was released no matter if you played on PC or if you played on console. But I do think having new special events to celebrate this pretty much over a year as what we're going to be celebrating the 10 year anniversary uh, of the game is going to be a good thing for the game in general. Because if you have played for a long time, the only thing that I ever really have a complaint about, and it's not really a big complaint, but I feel like a lot of the events, if you have played them you know, every year since the game was released, no matter if you're on PC or console, there are a few new items here or there that you can get, but a lot of the other stuff you already have experienced. You know, you've experienced the events, you've experienced the kind of, you know, whatever the story could be in there unless they add something new story-wise, which they have in the Jester's Festival over the last couple of years. 
But when it comes to rewards, there's always one or two new rewards, but a lot of the other rewards that you already own because you have played all of these events. So having some new events, especially having events that are going to be kind of celebrating the 10-year anniversary, I think this is going to be something really good. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this. And of course, if any more info comes out, uh, I will make a separate video letting you guys know about that. But of course, like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.